what we're going to do is we're going to show what happens when you have a direct short and how the circuit breaker actually functions. Here's our copper one, okay? So that's the one that comes from the battery. You can see that this is the side that's going to break, okay? This, what's going to happen is it's going to heat up. This is going to bend and snap open. So as you, we back up the camera here, you can see our setup here. We've got a light that's just lighting right now. So from our positive cable, we're feeding the one side of the circuit breaker like we would in every just normal circuit. Out of here, don't mind the wire color here. We're going to feed the light bulb out of the light bulb back to ground the battery, and that's just a normal circuit. This is our fuse protection because this is our circuit breaker. Now we're going to go ahead and create a direct short, and we're going to focus on what that breaker is going to do inside. Are you ready? Everybody clear? As you can see, when we applied a direct short, the circuit breaker popped open, disconnecting the load or the light, if you will. Now it needs to cool down to reset itself. Unless you remove the overload, it'll keep breaking. See how it automatically turns back on? Well, there you have it. Now you've seen inside an automatic resetting circuit breaker and actually have a better understanding of how they function. If you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh, technical education and uh, um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching, and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.